Welcome everybody, we're going to Japan! This, this playthrough is more of a gift for Pat than you guys. Oh, uh, you were the one who suggested it! Yeah, but I suggested it because you've been crying and whining about no, doing it No, I cried and years. whined about it for about a year, and, and that was two years ago, well, well, and then you're like, I don't want to play, you want to do Yakuza? I kind of want to see what Yakuza is! Well, uh, to be fair, I finished the first one, I got a third through the second one, and I just stopped. Oh, that sucks! Second one's the best one. It's not the best one. It, well, this is the best one. The best one also, maybe the best one is the one that Sega won't let you play. So let's play net Network. I was going to say, <laughs> every single option here is the best option I've ever seen. Many of these are unlocked because of my previous clear right. save. Like, but, premium adventure. And ultimate skill. Ultimate skill, man. Maybe but, we should reminisce. But since this is part zero, and people are probably wondering why this is part zero. I, I, I think of a picture of a child, like, putting his hands up in wonderment saying what the fuck is Yakuza? I don't know what Yakuza is. <laughs> says me, a regular North American slash European the slash thing, Australian person. It's the thing that we told Sega we don't want. No, I told them. No, no, you told them and people but that the, told them. What I'm getting at is there's a lot of backstory here. Really? There's a lot of backstory? There uh, is a lot Yakuza of... Before Yakuza 4? There's a lot. Of, and these games have lots of plots. Yeah, they do. So what they did is they said, hey, if you don't know the plots, you have these buttons. And these buttons <laughs> tell you the stories. Like, Metal Gear tried to do that with the encyclopedia. But yeah, it should have yeah. just been like... Anna, it should have just been this. It should have been a big cool movie. So what we're going to do is watch this a big cool movie yeah. about uh, the dragon of Dojima. Yeah, he's a cool dude and he's never not afraid of no one. Yeah, alright, here we go. The destiny begins. <laughs> nice. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have fun editing this because you'll see what happens to the video in a second. Oh, uh, it's gonna get all It's gonna get super long. tiny. That's sad. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> you said super tiny! <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this. <laughs> Why is it that small? Because they don't want to make the PS2's cutscenes look super shitty. Yeah, I understand that, but why not? It's being displayed in native aspect ratio. And this is just, like, footage of it. It's yeah, like no, this actually... is the cutscenes. Yeah, this is footage of the cutscenes. Yeah, no, totally. All right, we should actually try to follow it. Or I. So the important least. thing is this guy Kiryu and his best friend is the baddest dude in the world. He's pretty bad. Now he worked for the Yakuza, and he had this buddy Akira, right? Yeah. Nishiki. Everybody calls him Nishiki. He had a big fish on his back. Uh huh. And then his dad, uh, Ka what's his name? He died. Yeah, he uh, Fuda, whatever. They Fuma. They renamed him. What? And then, and then this chick. Yeah, she's important. She was like, ah, oh, she's pretty cool. We all are in love with her, all obviously. We're not like super. Well, Japanese love is different and than they, our and love. And they basically hang out in a bar all the time. Japanese love is even if you're a tough guy, you don't even make advances. Yeah. How could she love a yakuza? So up and coming Kiryu had like a really bad day. Yeah, and you walked in on this scene, you're like, dude, Be because his boss, the the boss of his clan, yeah, tried to rape his best friend. Wow. <laughs> And then Nishiki was like, nah, fuck that! Yeah, yeah. And shot him. But you can't shoot your boss! Well, you can, it's just not advisable. No, it's not good to shoot the, the boss of the, the, the Dojima family. He, sh he should have hit the boss with the statue of the thinker. And then, and then Yumi went nuts. Right. Yumi was like, oh, I can't handle this. How, why Why was she there? I forgot why was she even in he the room. He just tried to rip her! Okay, no, but why was she in the room? He dragged her there! Oh, he dragged her with there. With Yakuza goons! Oh. I thought you were gonna say Yakuza goo. Goo, no! <laughs> Yakuza goo. And then, being the coolest guy ever, he takes the he rap. He takes it! And then goes to jail! He takes the rap on himself. He really likes his best friend. So, A, Nishiki, free, awesome. Yumi, okay. Jail, not great. I bet Japanese prison is a fucking breeze. Not when you're in Japanese Yakuza prison. Oh, uh, maybe you're right. With all the Yakuza guys. He looks cool with a short hair. I hate too. his short hair. It, it looks cool a little He's bit. He's the only character I actually think looks way better with dumb big, big back big hair. anime hair. Yeah, big anime hair. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, there's some guy like, or I forget who. It's his dad! Pop? 
His dad, uh, Fuma Oyabun and or Shintaro Kazuma, they changed the names when they dubbed it, but then when they stopped dubbing it, people well, are... Why would they, but they changed the names, but they're still Japanese names. They like changed they them, them to be more easy to pronounce. I guess so. But it's not like Phoenix Wright where you just change it, the, the name completely. The, the main problem is that in, in Yakuza 1, everybody calls him Kazuma, but in this, everybody calls him Kiryu because of the weird Japanese first name, last name, shit. When you say Kiryu, though, it just makes you think yeah. of a fucking robot from Godzilla. Yeah, I know. So while you were in jail, Nishiki became Big Dick Alpha Dog. Yeah, and he's kind of, I mean, He totally changed. And he's saying, hey guys, who stole 10 billion yen from the Tojos? Which is basically $10. It's $100 million. That's $10. It's $10. And then your dad what? got shot! And you're, you snuck into the funeral? And then they're like, is that Kiryu? And then they yeah, walk into the room and your dad is shot. And then you're on the lam from everyone. Yeah, but first you have to have a huge fight in the in the funeral and beat up all the funeral I dudes. remember doing that fight. Oh, man. Oh, it's that famous bar. Yeah, about that drunk guy. <laughs> So it's like, where's Yumi? Where's the money? Where is she? I what everyone happened? hates me. It's a who done it in Japan. All these dead people are filling this bar up. Hey guys, you don't have to go home, but you can't. But stay worse, here. <laughs> you found a little kid with a gun. Oh, that little kid! I forgot about her. That that kid is like a main character now. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Oh, we're back. Onward, Haruka. Yeah, it's Haruka. Haruka. She's some dumb kid. And you know, you're shit. playing Yakuza 1, and like immediately you're like, oh my god, they've, they've shoved a dumb kid, kid to in this immediately. Don't put a little kid in your Yakuza game, it's a death kiss. But then right afterwards, you she makes you save a puppy. Like, some kids are throwing rocks at that dog, and you're like, I don't care, I'm a dragon of Dojima. And she's like, no, you you got to save the puppy. you got to care. And then this giant splash screen comes up that says, save the puppy. Oh, I thought you meant puppy, like, puppy get. Yeah. <laughs> so Haruka's mom suspiciously knows Yumi also. Mm. And everybody's like, oh, who's Yumi? Who's their we mom? Know this. Who's the dad? Who Where's knows? Where's the money? Give me back my son! Yeah. Is there a give me back my son subplot? There, there's some a give me back my daughter subplot that that's, happens that's, constantly. That's fair. And for some reason, your clan thinks that the little girl knows where the ten. Yeah, of course she does. Is. It's it's like a weird combination of like Ransom and Mercury Rising. Oh fuck you talking about Mercury Rising to me. And then a bunch of weird shit happened. Like he got she got kidnapped by Lao from Virtua Fighter. Of course she did. And she got caught kidnapped by Japanese the Joker. To be fair, would you allow yourself to get kidnapped by Lao? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I would too. This is a dude whose name is Makoto. Makoto Date. Dante's pretty good. Dante's a great name. He, he is totally the, the, the ultimate stereotype. What was that? He was stepping out of the shining light. No, no, no. He was like, you didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. And Kiryu's like, no, I totally did it, though. Oh, this is a detective. I remember yeah. him. And then during all this, I don't know how he missed it, the chairman of the Tojo got murdered. <laughs> This this uh, uh, reminiscence can only be so sustained. So that there are there are tons of power struggles going on and DBZ kids. Stuff. Yeah. And here are shots of Date and Kiryu beating up dudes and going on adventures. Yeah. Which is most of the first game. So many adventures. Oh yeah, and two of your best friends run like a a, a club for male prostitutes. Of course they do. They run a host How club. How we run one of those? No, we don't. Not yet. The deed's in the mail. It's why would a deed be in the mail? <laughs> I don't know how buying property Can't you works. you just fax that shit? No, I don't know how property works. So how messed up is that? You save Haruka from three or four separate kidnappings. <laughs> You get arrested for kidnapping. I mean, and they're really clear that they're not arresting you because you kidnapped her. They're arresting you because you're going your whirlwind tour of the Tokyo is causing huge problems. A huge ripples, I would say. And Date then, is always the name of a cop. And Date stepped up and was like, I'm gonna do right by this yak because it's dude. I'm gonna bust him out. I'm gonna bust him out, and then we're gonna go on a bigger adventure. A bigger adventure. The biggest adventure. Okay. But now we have to chase the money. Find the money trails, you guys. Find the money trails. 
Many people stood in our way but for our, our adventure of bullshit. Mainly all the dudes in, the, like, all the other sub bosses. Oh, fuck that guy. Remember in the yeah, dub, totally. they made Michael Madsen. Yes, Michael Madsen. The most horribly missed. He's got, like, this western... And oh, that, that was Mark, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Yeah. It was so bad. And he was just... Kiryu Chan. He's great. Majima is everybody's favorite. I like favorite. how they call him Kiryu Chan, but they just call him Candy and the thing. Yeah, well, what are you supposed to call him? Yeah. The point is, is that Majima is like weirdly, like pally right, with right. Kiryu, even though he's a psycho and keeps trying to cut him. Yeah, your husband that was raping women? Yeah, yeah, what a hero, right? Yeah, Yoi, you are a weird wife. I want someone to say something to me and their words be heavy on my heart. It's oh, not I know, right? yet. Yeah, there's Kesuke! The host club Stardust! And Yuya! Tirada was pretty cool. He was, uh, uh, he was from Okinawa, that area of the, 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 the Yakuza. Okinawa! Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you remember this guy. This is like somebody's dad. He didn't waste any time making your name <laughs> This dude is a weirdo who just, like, stares at everybody through cameras. Yeah. <laughs> like, there, there should be one guy that does super that. super cameras. I really need to be staring at everyone all the time, you guys. It's yeah. really important. It's also like, uh, he's got that big fucking TV screen from Dark Knight. Yeah. Totally. And now there are secret organizations going on. Okay. And they are the government. Okay, I get a little hazy around here. Yeah, I get a little hazy, because it gets a little confusing. And guess what? A politician stole the money. The ten dollars. No, ten hundred million dollars. Yeah, it's ten. And it was all this weird Ponzi scheme. Investment scheme. scheme. It was this. It was total nonsense. Get this fucking pyramid scheme shit it's out of here. It's the head of the Tojos working with a politician to basically launder hundreds of millions of dollars, and then the politician just takes it. This turns into the the other guys. It's not about drugs though. <laughs> but it's got to be about drugs. And then your dad, your ex girlfriend, and the chairman all stole the money. Actually, though. Why didn't anyone tell him about this because while he was in jail? <sighs> Fuck that guy. And then, uh, and then your dad got hit by a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> but he saved Haruka, which is pretty cool. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. Or my dad he just got shielded hit by her whole body with the blast. Yeah. That's how Yakuza like bodies are. Yeah. That was a really weird moment, because it's meant to be a big deal that Shimano pulls out a grenade, because, yeah. oh my god, a grenade! You but, stepped up. But to, like, Western audiences, like, oh, he's got a grenade. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because why, like, the entire game is you're fighting hand-to-hand, -hand, really. Okay, we just talked over the fact that, uh, that, uh, Kazuma totally killed Kiryu's parents. When did that happen? So, Yumi, Nishiki, and uh, Kiryu are from an orphanage, right? Right, I remember. And that's the orphanage that kids get sent when the Yakuza accidentally kill all their family. Wow! <laughs> like, in crossfires and shit. And so, right before he dies, he's like, Ah, oh, I'm actually an asshole. Uh. You'll but, always be my dad. But then dad. Kiryu's a cool guy and says he loves him anyway because he, he raised him. He yelled, them. you'll always be my dad. Even though you killed his real dad. Yeah. And mom. But you didn't know him then. Yeah, he so. didn't know that. Lots of, lots of important stuff. Lots of so that, that's important. That's Millennium Tower. It's Millennium this giant, tower. super guy goddamn huge tower in okay. the middle of Camarocho. Would you have liked it if SNK and Sega teamed up just for a cameo and it's actually Geese? Yeah, totally, totally. Geese is like, uh, yeah, even though despite yeah, all of everything before, it was me. Totally. It was me, Dragon of Dojima! So, guess what? Surprise, Yumi is Haruko's mom. Uh... Shocker. Shocker. So, you get a little bit of baggage here with, a little bit. with Yumi here. A little and bit he of doesn't baggage. know this because he was in jail. The also, time. she totally stole all the money from this guy. What was her intent? Uh, to use the money. <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to have money. To just, really? I, I believe it is. It's not to like refurbish a prefecture. No. <laughs> the Omi Alliance. The Omi Alliance is way bigger. Um, We're out west. I wish it was the Omi Gibson Alliance. So Jingu's crazy with power. And he's got a shit ton of special ops dudes. As is anyone that has lots of power. It's a tough, it's a tough boss fight. And now even Tirada from Omi Alliance is being tricked! Everyone is being tricked! It was the little girl all along. The little girl should pull off her face and it's Vince McMahon. 
But then Yumi has it clutch. Of course. She got a big C4 bomb. Usually when stuff starts getting complicated, someone takes out a bomb to uncomplicate it. Just like, now we need to calm down, everyone. You should all probably shut your faces. Yeah. Hold it! <laughs> and you get named the fourth... The fourth jam, and you own the whole Tokyo Yakuza. And then you beat up Jingu. They skipped a huge boss fight there. Well, they're not gonna shoot. It was so long, though. You have to run through this winding path with all this water as dudes just shoot you. Right. Nishiki, you look like a dick when you got older. A little bit, huh? Yeah, you think? Yeah, Kiryu became way cooler and more stoic. And this is the Yakuza tribute, where somehow by pulling the bottom of your shirt, you can rip off your entire shirt, jacket, tie, everything. That's not how you swoop. pull off your shirts? So if, Come on now. so if people have heard me talk about a dumb boss fight with a dragon versus Magikarp, yeah. it's this. Because he's got a Magikarp on He's got, the oh, I'm the carp. I'm better than the dragon. Magikarp. And then you just beat his ass down. Yeah. You just beat the shit out of him. Because I'm a dragon, you idiot. Yeah. So this starts the long tradition of uh, final boss fights on top of Millennium Tower. Of course. That makes sense. Because Shenmue. Because why would you, if you have a tower in the city called Millennium Tower, why would you yeah. not organize your boss fight yeah. to be there? So Nishiki was like, eh. And he decided to blow up himself, the money, most of the tower, and Jingu. How are you, how did Kazuma survive that? Uh, they were on the other side. What? He, he's strong, though. <laughs> he's strong. You, did, did you see that guy with the blue hat? Yeah. Okay, remember that guy. Really? Yes. I'm not gonna remember him. Yeah. Uh, but also in the in the in the process, Yumi died. Everyone <laughs> died but me and the little girl. Yeah. And he's like, oh, no, oh, I'm sad now. I lost the will to live, and this little kid's not cute enough to make me continue to live. And then Date is, is of course, the voice of awesome reason. Come on, continue being a criminal! <laughs> First of all, you gotta fix the Tojo, because they're being really nuts right now, and it's not cool. Second of all, there's that kid that just had watched her parents kill each other in front of herself. I'm not sure how much you know about this, but is the Yakuza the type of thing where like Japan's like we need these guys? Uh, the the Yakuza, like the cops don't the Yakuza likes down. to cultivate that idea yes. by helping out during tragedies or or doing community work. But like unlike you know like American mafias and whatnot, it's like it seems like Japan's like eh. As long you know, as they you, don't. May, you remember in uh in uh what was that movie with uh, Denzel Washington in New York as gangster? Uh, American Gangster. American Gangster. Remember at the beginning how his mentor is giving out free turkeys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the kind of shit the Yakuza does. Yeah, okay. That so they sense. try and balance out the dickishness. Right. Also, there's way less murders because of the lack of guns. Right, because <laughs> all you can do is use heat up moves. So there's weird shit that they have offices, like an office. Yes, I know. Like this is the Yakuza office. Yeah. If you want to go in and apply if, with a form. If you want a Yakuza <laughs> with the best... <laughs> So all that shit, and we missed the part where he just hey, owe me alliance guy, you get to be the chairman. I don't want to be the chairman. This it, stuff's hard. It, it, it strikes me as Kazuma's type of character. Like, I don't want this. I really don't want to do I this. I really don't want I'm this. I'm so tired of this. I'm kind of tired. But then tired. every year, <laughs> something happens. Like, yeah, every time I get out, they pull me back in. They pull me back in. So December 2005 is when it went all bad and shit. Is this a recap of the last thing in the new game? No, no, this is Yakuza 2. No, but this is a recap of... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's new. So you just he just fucks off. He's like, I'm just going to so hang out and raise my kids. start now. a new leaf? What was he doing? Just doing nothing? It's never explained because okay. it doesn't matter. I wanted to be an ice cream man. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> well, the important thing is that he's just living his life. The ice cream of Dojima. He's out. You know? I'm out. Yeah, I remember. No those. more last final missions, none of that shit. No more final missions for me. No. Oh, man. Respect your, the dead, you idiots. All these dead people. Yo, they all got beat up. Yo, Torada, what's up? Is shit really raw right now? It's pretty raw, you guys. Truce would be good. <laughs> Everybody likes truce for gang wars. A lot of people don't like truce for gang wars. There's always that one gang that's like, fuck truce, man. Fuck the truce, man. We beat them. No, you can't. No, you can't. I'm going to use my strawberry short blade. No, you can't. No. <laughs> what a soothing voice he has. Not Okinawa. I'm sorry. It was in Osaka. I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, words. Well, you go to Okinawa later. That's a later thing. 
Do you get dragged down to the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> Pretty much. So there's a problem with the truce. It didn't work? The problem with the truce is that there were dudes going, I don't want there to be a truce. Like I said. And then Tarana gets shot all up. A little bit. Now this, Yakuza 2's story is the weirdest, because it was written by a Japanese crime novelist, and he may have gone a little nuts and infernal affairs on it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it's really easy to get in. So all of a sudden, oh shit, now I have to do this truce between this huge gang war. You can't war. do that to me, man. Oh no. Not when you're dying. So, every single game, it's like, man, the Tojo's super weak. They're gonna disappear. I have to do I something. I gotta build them back but up. The, but at one point, somebody just points out to Kiryu, the Tojo's weak because every year you come around and kill half of us. <laughs> Yeah, I call it the cleansing. You go on a whirlwind tour and beat all of our asses, and it's a serious problem, and you need to stop. It, it, it seems to me that that was a weak excuse to try to, like, you know what I mean? Like, he should I don't even see him saying yes to that, yeah. but he promised not to. Yeah, but he's got to, because the clan. He's got to, because it's a clan. It's Daigo! So it's Daigo Dojima. He's, like, the only guy who can help me pull this off is right. the son of the dude I, of, I took the rap for. Right, right. You know, the dad who's a horrible rapist? Yes. And Daigo's just some shit with a puffy jacket. Yeah, he's really good at Street Fighter. No, he's a different, that's a different guy. No, no it's the that's same a, guy. That's a different guy. It's modeled after his yeah. life. Much better than Wolf. I, I, I always had problems with this. Yeah, see? Everyone's always like, what are you doing? Stop well, it! I'm trying to fix my mistakes, man. Like, this problem is literally all your fault, Kiryu. No, shut up, you. Maybe it is, guys. Maybe it is. Or maybe I'm a super nice guy. You all got me wrong. And then Daigo just eh. just comes along. Eh, I'll go with ya. He comes along for dumb reasons. Let's go destroy that Capcom mobile thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he wants to go to Osaka for revenge. Of course he does. Why? I, that's on the brochure for Osaka. So his revenge is over, like, the weirdest thing. A guy in in Osaka hated him, so he got him caught with an unlicensed firearm, and he went to jail for, like, four years. Wow, that's a long time for that. Well, Japan doesn't like guns. They really don't like guns. <laughs> Use your fist, you idiots! They really don't like criminals having guns. They're not a fan. <laughs> You don't want to get the criminals getting too strong. So then you go to Osaka and there's crabs and shit but everywhere. Everything, everything's crabs. Everything is crabs. The blue crab badger. Totally. What? <laughs> yeah. And Osaka is weird. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. You should go to Hokkaido. The land and everyone of talks and with a really weird accent. Whatever, weirdo. <laughs> Oh, I remember this cutscene. Yeah, don't don't look at those guys. Yeah, then you have a big ass fight. Down those yakuza there. are probably pretty tough. Not like you. You're just a little yakuza. You're just a little, you do, oh my god, remember this dude? It's the dragon of Kansai. Look how fucking evil that he guy is. He has such a thick Kansai accent. Yeah. Like I don't even speak the language and I can hear it. This is really funny. Are you sure? Yeah. There's probably a million guys that will name the dragon. He's really into himself. Yeah. He's really into it. He's super mad. Doesn't like it. And he's way bigger than you. He's like a little it's, bigger. It's hard to tell in this, but he's like a no, half foot you can tell taller how broad and he's, he's much thicker. He's a, he's a football star. Yeah. Fuck. When are we gonna get to the fireworks factory? There oh, it is! Oh no, the Millennium Tower blew up again! Oh. Every year! <laughs> it's like a tradition! So they blew up his office! <laughs> That's like that movie I told you where Snoop Dogg burns down Ice T's church. I know! Was there anyone even in there? Probably not. There, was, there was a guy in there, okay. but he got out. He was fine. The janitor? Yeah. No, he was the, the new guy, the new head of that family. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, that didn't work. That's, wow! That's, yeah, that's that's a, that's a different Yakuza boss. That's a chairman. No. He looks like the type. No, of Dad, we can't have a split. No. I'm gonna get rich or die. Look at this guy's jacket. Look at it. Maybe 9010? That's not fair. You're just the head of a family. Nobody cares about you. 
Oh no! And then he steals his own dad. <laughs> and then it becomes Hunt for Stolen Dad. Oh my god, he's the end. Yeah, he's totally the end. He's the Japanese the end. The Japanese end. Oh man. This is ridiculous. A war between East and West? This marked the beginning of the era called well, the Cold East Coast war. is Beast Coast, so sorry, Yuji. I was just telling someone that the other day, and they were super butthurt. They were super <laughs> mad that Beast Coast is better than Best Coast? Yeah. <laughs> so you beat up all the dudes, and he's just like, ah, you great. Good job. But then he's got, like, one of those weird arrival obsessions. Of course. Like, oh, I want to be the dragon. No, I want to be the dragon. I have the dragon power. He's willing to kidnap his own father. Uh, gotta rescue dudes now. So you have this huge boss fight with him, right? And you you win. You totally win. And then and then Kiryu, Kiryu says it didn't count because he was fighting with Daigo for a while, and Daigo's pretty tough too. So what? So he had better. So well, we'll fight later because it's not that fair is now. Weird. Yeah, it's super. It's like I didn't get. I didn't get this far into the Yakuza too. Oh, the, and there's uh, awesome female character. I think she's the only good female character from what in, the I only, in the entire. From what series. I know of Yakuza, this is the the one female character I've noticed that isn't all the other female characters. That's correct. Which are either little. She isn't a joke. Yeah, they're not, they're not little prissy girls or like idols or whatever. I don't know Harak is pretty cool, yeah. but she's a kid character more than a girl character. Yeah, yeah, the kid character defaults. There's a huge side quest in two where some creepy guys like, "Hey, girl, you want to be an idol?" And Kiri's like, "I don't know about this." I don't know about this, Mr. Liam. I don't want to do it. So apparently there are skeletons in these closets. A lot. Between. And Just then... jangling around. Wow. Look at all that! Look at these guys' titles! That's ridiculous. Yeah. And then they do flashbacks and they totally look younger! That's my favorite thing! Uh, wow. It's like Killer Kawara, why do they call you that? Did you shoot people on traffic stops? No. Are you a cop in Japan? No, not really. I don't do any of that stuff. And of course, he's Date's former partner. He's gotta be, right? He's gotta be. Date goes, why, what are you doing? What are you I thought doing? you were tired after you murdered all those people. No, nope. you'd think I would. Oh shit. No, don't investigate Kazuki, he's our pal. He's our man. Him and the other the man boys just dance around with golden champagne. All day, all night. Yeah. Oh, okay. right. I remember her boss sends her a message saying, arrest this dude. He causes trouble. Just arrest him before he causes more troubles. He causes so many, he causes all the troubles. He, because of his bloody life. Yeah, and then she's like, I don't think that's right. I'm gonna let him... I'm gonna let him go. I don't think that's right, my superior officer. But then she, everyone's got parents' issues in this. It really seems like it. Well, that's always a theme in So who are my parents? And then she's like, mm. That's always a theme in Japanese fiction in general. Who's my daddy? Um, I don't know. It's that guy. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, the love theme from Yakuza 2. There is a love theme in Yakuza 2. <laughs> but it's not this. So her plan is basically let Kazuya go on his, his rampage. <laughs> Kazuya! Sorry, Kiryu. Right. And then follow him around and pick up clues. That's the dumbest, most non-police plan ever. Guess what? You know, we should let this serial killer just run amok. It he's not a serial fall. killer. He no, never... like, I mean, like, the logic is... He's a cool guy. He only punches let's, dudes. No, let's let some serial killer go, and then we'll just follow his clues. That'll work, too, I'm sure. It totally works. Totally works, you guys. So they just skipped over a part where people are totally trying to kill them. <laughs> like, assassinate them. Yeah, there's no time. That's why she had that little patch on her arm, and she's walking around all showery and and and, and pretty. To, to to from all the, all the beatings she just took yeah. from all the assassinations. No, from sh the shootings. The shootings. Yeah, the shootings. 
It nearly killed me when I found out. Hey, finding out your dad killed your real parents is rough. That's a rough secret. But he'll always be his dad. Yeah. It's weird that they, they in the first one, they're like, he totally takes it no problem. But that then is. later, when he had time to think about it, he's like, man, that is pretty messed up. <laughs> Maybe you should have thought about that instead of not at all. Well, it was a, it was a high it was pressure situation. Way I know. And then you went on a date. <laughs> A weird date in an alley. Yeah, she's like, no, we're being chased by assassins, and then they accidentally held hands. <laughs> they accidentally boned. Yeah. <laughs> and so she's following him around because of the rampage, and he's like, wow, this girl's got problems. I should take care of her. <laughs> that's just how all love is No, formed. that sucks, because that, that's making her less cool then. Yeah, but she does tons of cool shit that they just glossed over okay, and skipped. Okay, fair enough. Use me. Use it. She's a really hardline cop. I'm taking a heart to stick with me, and then and we'll we'll fuck everyone up. Yeah. So yeah. So here's where she she brings it. She runs it back. And this is where he gets to be the coolest guy ever. Whoops. No. <laughs> Why are you calling me Papi? Papi? In your Miami's. Are they dead? So I, I guess we'll kill you later if you had anything to do with it. <laughs> so again, yeah, Detective and, and Yakuza going adventuring, solving, Detective and Yakuza solving mysteries, solving mysteries about who killed Godzilla. These games are super weird because they have really outrageous product placement, but we don't know the products. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, there are these scenes where Boss Coffee is on a huge billboard behind them for, like, an entire cutscene. You know what? But that's... you're like, oh, man, Boss Coffee's not real. You know what? That's not fair that we, we're not yelling at them for that. I don't know. I There's so much that it, like, actually works to its advantage. All right, fair enough. Because you're going, like, they're all in places that the ads would actually be. Because for those those that don't know, like, Yakuza sells a lot in Japan. They sell super good. So then, then it started to go really weird. Oh, really? So we started finding out clues and discovered that 20 years ago, Karua may have killed, like, 30 Korean mobsters. <laughs> like, in a day? Or yes. <laughs> and also, Kiryu's dad may have also been there killing those gangsters. Or watching, at least. No, he was doing most of it. So maybe all this shady stuff going around is the Korean Mafia being super butthurt over it. You mean, like, uh, upsetting the truce and shooting that guy in the funeral? That's correct. Okay. I like that terminology. Like, they weren't killed or destroyed or whatever. They were erased. The Schwarzenegger style. Wow, guns. So these, these are... Uh, uh, Holy these shit. are Tojo captains that are just getting off like all one after another. Blam, 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 blam. I really feel like these games would be improved as once you beat up a guy, they say barf. Maybe. Uh, no, that's not true. That doesn't happen. No, it would be cool if it did. So the story gets weird because they're in Osaka and Tokyo and they're constantly going back and forth by a bullet train. And it takes like an hour. Every time Kiryu leaves, something really bad happens in the other one. <laughs> Oh god, I'm being pulled between both places it's too much. So the police chief wants revenge because he was the survivor. Of what? That he was a, one of the mafia dudes from 20 years ago. The Korean? Yeah, and he's like, we'll never forget. I'm going to become a police chief to take revenge on you. <laughs> oh god. That and then Kaora weird. and the dude kill each other. <laughs> and so you know what this framing means. <laughs> No! Oh my god, what is he actually, her aunt? <laughs> no, he was the real dad all along. Oh god. Her dad was a cop. <laughs> How ironic. Not a Yakuza. Her mom was uh, the leader's wife or some shit. So a really big theme oh, is the whole orphans thing. Yeah. Oh, that's... that's now I remember, Kaora is the dad, and he saved, like, he, you know, all those dead Korean people. He, the, the he wife, saved them? The wife got saved. The wife and the, the her, her son. Because you just said made no sense, he saved all the dead Korean yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Not really, but... He saved the wife and her, her young son. Oh, he got the survivors out. Yeah, he got the one survivor, and then fucked it. <laughs> 
So we gotta do Not sometimes. a great plan. So all this Korean mafia shit's happening, and Ryuji's just like, no, I want, no, 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 I want a gang war, though. <laughs> I really need one, you guys. I'm gonna get my fucking gang war. One way or the other. You know it. Shit! Yeah. This dude's super into it. I appreciate And once again, yeah. just grab your lapel and the all of it just comes right off. No, the, the 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 suits are designed that way in case you need to do this. Yeah. It's so, a feature. They're not at the top of Millennium Tower, but they are at the top of a giant skyscraper. But Terada is not dead, in fact. What? In fact, Terada was also a survivor of the Korean Mafia! And instead of becoming a police chief, became the leader of a Yakuza organization! So two, two very different paths to get revenge. Yeah. And he also wants revenge! This game series should be called Revenge the Revengenine. It's like Fe featuring orphans. If I fake my own death, I know you're gonna go through a ton of bullshit, and then the gang war will happen, and then Kamurocho will explode. <laughs> because bombs. Because bombs. I'm really afraid you're gonna have to die, you guys. It was a sad fight. He pulls out an Uzi, and you beat him up. Hello. Yeah, he pulls his. He pulls out an Uzi, and you beat him up. Because <laughs> Kiryu's the awesomest. But he just flex and the bullets bounce off him. Oh no! Who's Takashima? The second in command of the Omi. It's always the second in command that's behind everything. He was behind everything. Now we skipped a very important part. At some point, Erika got kidnapped and went to a golden castle. And what? Then, and then Kiryu had to fight tigers in order to save her. Why didn't they? It's not? a side story that's part of the main plot, but he punches a tiger right in its face and it dies. That's awesome. You can find a gif of that out there somewhere. Proving that the, the dragons are better than the tigers. Totally. Way better. Like, really proving it super so, hard. And then Takishima gets shot too! To death. Everyone is shocked. Wow, he's really getting he's shot. He's really getting shot. Ryuji got shot right in the chest. He doesn't give a fuck. Nah, there's no time. No fucks. So the gang war's over. Really? Yes. Because all the instigators died. Oh, dead. Oh, except for that guy. Yeah, well, he wasn't even an instigator for the entire yeah. thing. So now both of you are shot twice in the chest. Like, through his chest. Yeah, through. Like, shot super hard. In his heart! And then you decide what's more important than stopping the bomb from going off. Fighting that. Settling this. Finding out who's the toughest guy with the most unbreakable back. Totally. And Sayama obviously is like, you guys are idiots! What are you doing? I want them to, to fight, to vie for a title called the Boss of Japan. Totally. <laughs> and it just boils down to like, I don't like this guy. I don't like him either. Time to fight. Ooh. By the way, much like Die Hard, these are primarily Christmas games. <laughs> it, I mean, they always happen in December. They usually happen around December. Yeah. Yeah. So you beat up Ryuji, and he's super tough. He's the final boss. But he had nothing to do with so the there's a plot. Running, there's a running theme of a giant guy with huge back tattoo yeah. who takes his shirt off on top of a tower is the final boss. But Ryuji didn't have anything to do with the main plot. Okay, so they skipped over a huge detail. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, so Saura, uh, yeah. Avengers Saura the cop mar yeah. like marries the Korean mob boss's wife yeah. and has uh, the Saima, the detective kid. Yeah. Her brother is Ryuji. Oh, that would have been important. <laughs> so he is say. also a survivor of the Korean Mafia. Kinda, yeah, and he just of. finds out right at the end, and then he dies in her arms again. That's like <laughs> two family members dead in your arms in a day. That's a lot. And then the bomb doesn't go off. For any reason? Because Tarada was faking it. Oh my god. Tarada didn't actually mean to have revenge. That is the epitome of a bluff. <laughs> Tar Tarada did all that revenge shit and shot all those people and got shot so that the true mastermind would show himself. <laughs> That's so Japanese. It's super dumb. On to Yakuza 3, where things get better graphics, but I was gonna say, it gets next gen the graphics. It gets a little bit next gen -er. Ok Okinawa! So one year later in Okinawa. Well, that's Camarocho, but whatever. It said Okinawa. What? They still do that! Because it's reminiscence! That's stupid. It's stupid. It's dumb.
I was like, can't wait for full screen action. So in order to remove her from the plot because she was not written by any of the people who usually write it, they just send her to America. I thought I thought for sure she's going to get shot in this graveyard. No, she gets sent to America. And then she'll get shot. She goes to America to teach hacking to American police officers. Hacking! Hacking, totally. That doesn't make any sense. Why would a Japanese person... She's a, She's got a, a PhD in, in computers. I assume she can speak English, though. Yes. Uh, it, Probably not great. <laughs> their their accents are all really brutal. Like all she can do is say hacky. So the interesting thing is that this game has tons of English speaking white people in it. Interesting. As villains. <laughs> As they should be. So Kiryu decides to move on with his life and starts an orphanage. That's pretty dumb. He should probably wear a jaguar mask. It's the Sunshine Orphanage, and he just hangs. Okay. Fuck you, that's the best name for it. It totally is. Oh my god, look how much fun this is, you guys. And he just, he just hangs out and raises these kids. Does he have money to do it this? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He gets paid with, like, affection. There's there's money coming from some Yakuza Look at that nerd. You see that nerd look kid? At, look at him. He's really smug about it. He's like, I'm loving this. <laughs> this is good. This kid thing is pretty great. The whole first like three hours of the game is you running the orphanage. I, I was just gonna say, I it's it's like the, that is a huge. That's the, like the main thing of the first one, and the second one is go get a dog. Isn't Yakuza Three considered a pretty weak one? It's the, it's probably the weakest one. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, in in terms of quality, I'd say Dead Souls is the worst. Then yeah, yeah, one, yeah. then three, then two, then four. Okay. Look at that! Look at that! B tier Yakuza yeah, 2! Yeah, it's B. That's Z tier. So now, of course, since we're all the way all far away from the regular Yakuza's, the Tojo's, right. we gotta have shenanigans with deeds with, and, with the and land and shit. What? Dude, Even now? All the time. Everybody has a huge tattoo on their back. Snake is cool. Snake is pretty cool. It's like a dragon. It's, the, it's not as cool as the dragon. No. But that guy So every like time it fades out like that, and it just comes it back goes, It had a big yeah, fight. Because, and then... He didn't take off his Hawaiian shirt! No, he didn't need to use no, the tattoo. No, he didn't need to use the tattoo. Now, I have a, a hard time with Nakahara, because he looks so much like my dad, it freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks like your dad. He looks so much like my dad! <laughs> so the whole time- and, and Nakahara's a cool guy! Yeah. Even though he's the boss of the dudes that are trying to get the deed. The deed? The deed to the, the orphanage. Deed. The deed to the orphanage. The orphanage has to be bulldozed so that the resort can go up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plot. That's, <laughs> that's the plot. Well, we don't know. It's clearly a crime novelist didn't write this one. No, this one was written by the, the guys. Yeah. They're like, hey, we're going to write a thing now. It's going to be bulldozed. We're putting up a freeway, see? Stop we need your stupid orphanage out of the way, Kazuma. Yeah, come on, guy. Do something cool. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Use a heat up move. Oh, that looks so much like my dad. It's, it's <laughs> your dad with a katana. It's really weird. It's really weird. I guess a bunch of old guys just look like that. I guess after a certain point. Since so a Japanese old guy looks like my dad. <laughs> That's weird. Who's this guy again? So everyone's adopting. Adoption is big. It's the in, new hot ticket. In the, in the crime syndicates, adoption is big. We gotta adopt kids, you see? And this adopted kid is also mute. Uh, never been a fan of the mute character. Ah, uh, Mercury Rising was pretty okay. Shut up, even! No, oh, I hate Mercury Rising. <laughs> Got such a dumb poster. So too. that's the thing. It's like Nakara, you seem pretty cool. And, oh, you're taking care of this ch this little girl. That's awesome. I do that too. Oh, we should be besties. And then her mom came back and yanked her, and then he got drunk and was really upset about it. Nice. That's what happens. Yeah. yeah. I gotta find the. Girl. I'm gonna go steal the girl from her mom. I'll be right back. Give me back my daughter. See, I told you. Give me the money. A lot of child kidnapping. A lot of child kidnapping. A lot, of child kidnapping. A lot more childs than there should be, really. You would think in a in a crime game about big men wearing. Like, name me a kid in a GTA game. There's none. Because you have to be able to kill everyone. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you kill almost no one in these games. So it turns out Saki is her mom is like a, a cracked out prostitute. Wow. Yeah. Bad luck, kid. And this is the other local guy. Look at this piece of shit with his red suit. You know he looks like he looks like that Yakuza boss in um in one of the Phoenix Wright games, the guy, the tiger guy. Totally. Who's got that red face and he went all nuts. Yeah. Forget his name though. Curious Bring about. it on! He's not taking ah. it. Just <laughs> cut. I like the idea that he just fainted due to him saying yeah. "Bring it on." So it's it's a really it's a really interesting thing because you're always playing as Kiryu, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and you, everyone in in game one, they're like, "That dude used to be the baddest dude ever, ever." But he's old now. He's like 35, so whatever. And then he kicks everyone's ass. In Yakuza Two, everyone's like, "No, not you again!" Right. And by the time you get to three, he's he's become this like mythic legend where people are saying, "Who are you, old man?" And Why people so around hard? that guy are just going, "No, no, no!" <laughs> Look at her sketchbook. Oh yeah, because he was sad. What a fucking. He was sad that the kid ran away. What a... Oh no! Oh, it's like your notebook. And then the kid loves her new dad. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I did it. This series, like, romanticizes, like, the Japanese crime syndicate so much. A little much, a little like, much. what's the most important thing about the Yakuza? And family. that's community and family and love. <laughs> Don't forget about savage beatings and money laundering. And racketeering. You racketeering. gotta love racketeering. You love racketeering. Kids love racketeering. Trouble in paradise, guys. <laughs> I can't believe that's what it's called. So, you and the so, now that that shit's over... That seemed like the entire game. Back to the orphanage. Wow. The pacing is really messed up back in the to, Back to the space orphanage. It's not a space orphanage. Gosh. Imagine, though. You received terrible news. <laughs> From Rikia. And he starts calling you Aniki all the time. Like a puppy. No, don't call him Aniki when he's not actually your Aniki. No, everyone's your Aniki. Aniki! Shit! I thought I solved that problem! <laughs> nope, turns out you're super wrong. Yep. He was gunned down, but he's totally okay, by the way. Stupid guy. He's fine. I've seen a million, like, Japanese movies where that guy is always a character. Totally, the, the fat guy with the blonde hair? Yeah. And no eyebrows. And his name's Mikio, what a shitty name. <laughs> if your name is Mikio, I don't like you. It's barely <laughs> Japanese. Yeah. If your name is Mikio, though, that's cool. That's yeah, funny. So who shot Nakahara? You! <laughs> Worse! What? It's your dad! <laughs> oh! <laughs> your dad that died two and a half years ago! Well, you can't solve this problem then! That's a super good drawing of that guy. More shocks. More shocks! Ooh, a shock! More shocks. So, by the way, Daigo became the chairman when you left again. Of course he did. You are like, ah, uh, give it to him. Ah. Uh, Daigo looks a lot better in the PS2 game. <laughs> he looks a lot cooler than he does now. Yeah, I think you're right. Ah, uh, just kill the Baku. And then there's Wesker. And also, your dad is right there. That out of the shot. Oh, your dad shot Daigo. Your dad's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone ha like has a contingency to fake their own fucking death. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Homer, when you bought that dummy to fake your own death, you told me no. So again, turns out somebody's trying to manipulate the Tojo. Is it just me or is the Tojo just like a bag of shit? They're a bag of shit ever since uh, Dojima died. They explain like in some point that Dojima, the horrible rapist guy, was actually the smartest guy around and was mostly running things. Right. So I'm gonna just say that like I, you know, I'm breaking the, the, the fantasy of fiction, but if anyone wants to start anything, why don't they just kill Kiryu, then do their plan? You can't kill Kiryu. No, but when he's on the orphanage, just have a sniper they, shoot him. They, 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 he's gone now. And then when they take really, really, really strong measures to try and kill him when he's around, and it never works. Yeah. At every point in every game, there's a moment in which he gets attacked by two to three hundred dudes on the street in a giant fight, and he kills all of them. Right. 
Hey, because I'll, Shenmue. Uh, I was just gonna say this. I don't know what you think, but what if, since they don't belong to anyone, yeah. Sega commissions uh, United Front Games that made Sleeping Dogs <laughs> make an American Yakuza? Just I mean, same, make same a Yakuza cast, game. Same everybody. Make a Yakuza game yeah. with just. So because of all the beat ups that uh, beat ups that yeah as that Kiryu delivered, we have a new whole series of family bosses. Yeah, that all came, of whom are terrible. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, totally. Well, they're the new guys. Look how many chairs are not filled, and Najim is wearing a suit. And he's nuts. Next chairman. The crazy guy wearing a suit. That's worrying. Yeah, usually. So now that the, the chairman's like almost dead, they're all gonna fight for it. Okay. Stay, well, I want to be the chairman. I want to win the tournament of the tough guys. I want to be the chairman. I want to be the chairman, man. Please bring me up to speed. So he's the. Remember the office that blew up. In Yakuza 2? I thought you were going to say, remember that guy in the blue hat? No, that's his office. Like, he, he took over the clan when your dad died. Okay. The family, rather. And he's okay. He's cool. All right. Because he looks not trustworthy. But no, he's the one trustworthy guy. Okay. And all the other guys are not trustworthy. Because they're evil. Man, they're really getting mileage out of that sketch. It's a really good sketch. Oh, no! I wanted it to be Batman. It's pretty. It, <laughs> Shit. See what I mean? You see what I mean? Like Man. they take steps. Never bother to clean up this office once it's been destroyed, because it's just gonna happen next. It's gonna year. happen again. In a year, rather. In a year. Every year. Every year on the dot. Now, of course, Kiryu's totally fine. Yeah, no. Totally fine. There was no time to get shot. But uh, the other guy got shot. <laughs> he didn't die though. Show it. He didn't die though. <laughs> He really? It seems like he's, yeah, a little passionate about it. This dude used to be like a banker or some shit. And he's like, ah, I'm gonna get into the Yakuza game. Daigo beat Wooly Chan. And now he's also in the resort deal! Yakuza 3 got really complicated. <laughs> Because well, it's about resorts and land property. That's not interesting. It's not revenge. And now Majimu wants the construction rights. Because he has a construction company now. Everyone's trying to go legit. Everyone's trying to go legit, but evil. Evil legit. Evil legit. That was a cool moment, though. There's a lot of dudes here. You, you come watch. out of the construction area and you're like, wow, the Majima family got super huge. Yep. A lot of business suits. So basically what happened is after you beat up all the villain families, they all joined up underneath Majima. Because okay. they're like, well, you're crazy. Okay. Wow, here, here's that virtual fire shit. Yeah. Who is behind the Okinawa? In every, in every game, you're like, hey, Majima, can you help me out? And he's like, no, we have to fight in the pit. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm no. Sure. And every time you beat him up, even though he's got the knife. Get the so knife. So get this! The knife is fair because of the eye patch. I guess. No, that's what Kiryu says. No, no, I, I mean, I guess that's okay. okay. But... Now this guy died. Remember Lao? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you killed him. You died in the first one, but he's back now. And the explanation is no, I didn't really die. <laughs> You didn't check my pulse. No. <laughs> what was he supposed to die from? The explosion? Beating. From beating. You beat him to death. Every single game, there's always a character that you totally unequivocally kill. And is back as like a boss or a sub-boss or, or as part of a side quest. He appears. And then you, he, you fight him with the big sword again. That's fine. That was very dramatic. Look how much you beat him up. He's oh, now yes. like he went from being threatening to he's on the ground hugging your leg. Yeah. Yeah. What? A single gunshot that hit two people. That's a good shot. It's a good shot. More than enough to kill anything. Oh no! Dead. It's your dad. That's stupid. <laughs> Hey, are you my dad? Oh. No. Why are you shooting everyone? Why did you shoot Daigo? And Nakahara. Wait, what? And he's like, oh, so you're the guy. This is my real super dad. Beautiful eyes. 
beautiful eyes. What? Why did like you just I say that in English? From my brother. What? Brother. Yeah. So he's speaking English because he's been hanging out in America the whole time. The whole time. And it was his, it's his twin brother. It's your dad's twin brother. Come down. Like. Twin whatevers is like, place. shut up, that's bullshit. But you really can't argue okay. against it. Panda this. died off screen. Like, we just, who like, cares? No, it really didn't show it in the game? No, yeah, we, no, no you fight him and he dies. Okay. It's like, we don't know who's what's happening. And, and then you meant, just go you, hang out with Hanaya. I thought you meant or, even in the game when you're playing it, they're just like, yeah, that character yeah. died off screen. Okay, so now the defense minister of Japan wants to talk to you. Nice. To you. Finally. Just to cure you. He's like, man, I don't know what's, what's even <laughs> happening. That The conversation with him lasts almost an hour. Like the cutscene. No, because it's like three. You can ask him like five or six things, and each of them is like a 10, 15 minute cutscene. Okay. It can last to an hour. Yeah. Well, I did it. I wanted to know. You wanted, I wanted to know, know what was happening. <laughs> so, the resort is part of a of a, a bill trying to be pushed in parliament for military funding. And if the resort doesn't go up, there's no bill. I'm just a bill on Capitol Hill. But now he says, yeah, I don't, I don't care about it. Just, I need to find out about Black Monday. <laughs> I just don't want anyone to bulldoze my orphanage, you guys. You're right. Andre Richardson is the new villain. Because he works with an evil arms dealer called Black Monday, and they're actually behind it all. Black Monday's a really awesome name. Black Sunday is better, but... Yeah. So the CIA agent that's helping the defense minister is your dad's younger brother. Right, okay. That's why he's shooting people for no, no reason. reason. Well, the, he... CIA, the CIA's allowed. Now we have to fight the CIA. But the CIA can't just go to other countries and start fucking with everything. They do, though. But they're not supposed they're to. They're not supposed to, but, <laughs> but that's actually what they do all the all time. All right, all the time. La so CIA. if I go stop the CIA on Black Monday, you'll save the orphanage. <laughs> This is a lot of killing and deceit for just a dumb reason. Eek. Please don't shoot that guy. But you're part of the CIA, though. Yeah. And then you fight your dad. Not really, but pretty much, though. Yeah. It's, this is man. It's I like that time Spider-Man had to yeah, defeat that purple seeing monster. Seeing all of this shit. like in a row, like bam, 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 plot point. Like wow, these games are confusing. And then you fight him, and guess what? It was really fierce. I was gonna say uh, the Millennium Building explodes. Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> We're not there yet. Getting there. Beyond love and hate. Beyond love and hate. Love and peace. Uh. You beat him up. That's what happened. Yeah, I beat him to death. No, you didn't beat him to death. No, you probably did. The one remaining mob boss just decided to. <laughs> I felt a lot of good feelings towards that guy. I know, right? You don't even know. Mina is rich. It's a good thing for a mob boss to be. Yeah, no, it's an advantageous thing. Ah! And then he starts going a little nuts. A little nuts. A little nuts. That's a butter knife, by the way. That, that, uh... That he really, he really slammed that shit. Meanwhile, at the orphanage... Yeah, to see what you mean about pacing now, for sure. Because they constantly want to go to Okinawa and back, right? We go oh shit, this guy's back! Look at all these red, purple, and blue bosses! By the way, this game takes place over two years. Wow. So a year later, he's like, mm, I'm gonna kneecap these guys. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, and Haruka is awesome! Wow! What are you, a bunch of evil bad- Oh, they're just tearing down the orphanage. And he's out of the hospital now, also. Yeah, your dad survived. Oh, 
Oh shit! It's literally getting bulldozed! It's literally getting bulldozed! This is such a stupid thing! No! Save the orphanage! Why don't they just move the orphanage? No, you have to save it! You have to fight the bulldozer? No. Damn it. No! I suck. So he comes home and his orphanage is destroyed. And then he gets super pissed. Really? <laughs> you were talking about him going on rampages before. I know, right? Now it's rampage fueled by... Oh, shit. <laughs> now it gets really weird. Where they decide, hey, let's take out Nagahara by having bulls stomp him to death. Well, we could just shoot him, but... You could, but this is way more fun. Look how much more fun this is. Yeah, are you having fun, you guys? Oh, there's kids watching! What's gonna happen? What's it's gonna happen. Oh, she it. spoke she for the first it. time! It's Asler. a miracle! It's a miracle. Yeah, but that doesn't stop the bull! Yeah? He's gonna headbutt him. It gave him the strength. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> to just manhandle that bull. Yeah. Your dad did that. <laughs> By then, literally the most impossible way. To... And then you beat Tamashiro up again. <laughs> By the way, he's like got serious bullet wounds all in him when he was doing that. He just came out of the so hospital. So no one was paying attention. No, no one was. I forgot what was happening. And then Rikia gets shot. Of course he does. So the old the old him. man with oh, who's already been shot and gets attacked by bulls yeah. survives. Well, he was on the ground. He couldn't take the bullet. I had a blast. It was radical. <laughs> I really loved everything. Now Ricky is dead for reals, though. Rikio. Rikia. Now Rikio. Rikio yeah, Rikio's dead now. Uh, despite its ebbing noir. I know, it's really clearly written like scripts, right? Yeah. Just like, oh, I'm gonna write this. With all your heart, man, and then he's like, Bleh. No, please, I have a wound there. So they blew up his orphanage, and then they killed the, the little Yakuza bro. Yeah. Oh, He's man. He's really upset. His face looking pretty bad. It looks super good. Shut up. No, I He's didn't. having emotions. No, it didn't look great. He's having all You'll the You'll always be my friend. Because you weren't then, really important. Okay, so after that, you take a super fighter jet back to Japan. Shut up. Yeah, the CIA gives you a fighter jet. Back because to Tokyo? Because he needs to... No, yeah, to Tokyo. Because you need to get back to the Millennium Tower right now. Yeah, to bomb it. And then you find Mine on top of a tower with Daigo in a fucking stretcher. <laughs> And he's having some kind of midlife crisis. Who, Daigo? No, Mine. Oh. He's having this huge midlife crisis. And it's he's like, what? well... This crisis is pretty huge. I have to kill everyone and, and get the Tojo Gotta now. Gotta do it. That's why I have to do it, though. And so, now that he's dead and I love him, I have to shoot him again. Gotta shoot him in the face. It's not clear. I'll yeah. Right off. Right off! <laughs> Isn't it funny if one guy did it and the other guy's like, no, I'm not doing it. That though. happened earlier. Rikia did it and Kiryu didn't. Oh, that's true. It's like, I don't even need to yeah, do it. Yeah, but like, I mean, like, in a final boss situation. The tattoo gives him power. Yeah. yeah. He, was the, he was the mastermind behind everything. I guess. He was working for everything with the resort. But no, wait, it was actually Andrew Richardson. Richardson. It's Wesker. It's Wesker. He only does it for profit. Well, that is a smart way to do things sometimes. You can you can hear just a little bit. He's actually totally speaking English, and he's subtitled. So how does Kazuma understand him? So Mine does the cool thing and beats him up, even though he's all shot up. Oh, oh, oh it's so bad. Do a suplex him off the Millennium Tower! Suplex him! And Do Daigo it. woke up during this, by the way. Of course he- Oh, it could be! That's an Izuna drop. It's a little bit- he needs to spin, but it's good enough. And then everything was fine again. It was super radical. Now, everyone is friends. Everyone is friends. So, uh, Kanda's dead. <laughs> Mine's dead. Yamazaki was beat up and kicked out of the clan. Duh, he looks great. He looks, he looks super good. good. 
He's not happy about the way things turned out. What's this? Oh no! And he stabs you! Yeah, but you've been shot in the chest, so... Yeah, but he stabs you really hard. And it's right at the end of the game, so you're like, oh no. Oh no! And that was my story. And of course, it happens right in front of Herika again. Yeah. This kid's had a rough life. Not great, could be better. Could be a little bit better. And he says some really, really inspiring final words. It seems like it. And it was really, really unclear whether or not he would live. So unclear. So unclear. But then it fades to black and it comes back and he's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> because they're wow, like... Wow, not even in a hospital or then something? Because they, they were like, fuck that, we need sequels. <laughs> Yeah, but that's weird. It's like, at least if you cut to a scene of him in the hospital, it's like, oh, I got No, this. look, he's got a bandage. He's that, fine. What a pointless scene. I know! The whole thing, it feels like it's going to end on that, right? And they're like, nah, we're just joking. Nah, there's no, no way. No, we would never that. kill Kiryu. He's the coolest. By the way, they rebuilt the orphanage. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. resort deal didn't go through. With the no money that they had. So now you're all up to date. <laughs> there were huge subplots removed, like had everything to do with Kazuki and, and Yuya owning the Stardust Club and how one of them was a body double for the Koreans. Of course he was. But That's a very clear, like, wow, that really shows that the third one is definitely, as at least story -wise, Super weird and baffling. Not as good as it's, the first No, two. it's not. Okay. T-shirts, get your t-shirts here. Every t-shirt you buy makes Pat grow in size and anger. Get your t-shirts.